this insect will deposit an egg into the crack on the bark here, and then again, the, then the, the egg will turn into the, the larvae. This little insect can cause big problems for ash trees. Emerald ash borer was discovered in Minnesota for the first time in 2009 and made its way to Coon Rapids by 2017. Yeah, emerald ash borer has really ramped up here the last couple of years in Coon Rapids. So this is some pretty good clues on this tree that the tree is, uh, well, heavily infected with emerald ash borer. So far this year, city forester Tommy Shabilla has marked more than 300 infected ash trees, and there are likely many more. Pretty much every neighborhood now that I go into throughout town, whether it's the north side or south side, um, I'm seeing some infected trees to some degree in, in pretty much each neighborhood that I go into. Signs of an infected ash tree include bark in the upper canopy turning blonde and flecking, small leaves and dead branches in the upper canopy, a lot of bark on the ground, and woodpecker holes in the tree. And I'm kind of addressing kind of the worst first scenario with the amount of decline and dead. Shabila is getting some help in the battle against emerald ash borer thanks to a $100,000 grant from the DNR. The money will be used to remove and replace 125 infected boulevard ash trees. As for homeowners, they should inspect trees on their private property. There are treatments that can prolong the life of an infected ash tree before a plan is made to take it down. The deal with ash trees is when they do die, they become extremely brittle. And so they're not going to stand for very long if they're left um, dead and standing. They're going to fall down on their own within a year or so. So it is really important to get the trees addressed sooner than later. For more information on emerald ash borer, log on to the city's website, coonrapidsmn.gov slash EAB. You can also call the city forester at 763-767-6455.